Hello everyone from the Novage team. Welcome to today's webinar, ZWCAT 2018 Features and Updates. ZWCAT 2018 is a reliable and intuitive CAT software. The recently released 2019 version has many new features, including modified and added dynamic blocks, annotative scale, PDF underlay, layer palette, Z-axis polar tracking, and smart plot. Join us today to discuss this feature, plus other improve improvements to the latest version of the best CAD software on the market. Today's webinar presenter, Brad Gilger, is the ZWCAD channel manager for North America. Brad is a family man, loves to surf, and always finds fun in everything he does. So uh, jo by joining Brad today on this um, adventure exploring ZWCAD, um, we should all expect some fun along the way. Something, a fun fact about Brad, Brad went to college in Hawaii, so he could surf every day. Lucky you, Brad. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you now a little bit about Noveg. Noveg is one of the largest online stores for design software, and we offer a huge assortment of software solutions that cater to virtually every designer's needs. So you don't have to go anywhere else. You can find it all here at Novage.com. And you can also find us on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, the usual. Coming up on our next webinar, what's new in Twinmotion 2019? And I also want to remind everybody that I'm recording this session so you can find it later on on YouTube and Vimeo. And now um, let's get ready uh, to share a Brad's screen. Here we go, Brad. I'm trying to share your screen. Here we go. Okay. All right. Take it away. Thank you for that introduction. I I just really love working with Noveg, and this webinar series is fantastic. I'm so excited to be a part of it. I, I love the Noveg website. I love the, the all the products you offer, and it, it's a uh, it's amazing. I feel honored to be on that on that catalog. So as we're diving in to ZWCAD 2019, we're going to go over some performance data, the new features and improvements, uh, you know, the API, and what's coming. What's the plan for 2019? When is, when is everything else going to roll out? But before we really dive into that, I do want to point out that if you go to Noveg website, you can download a free 30-day trial of ZWCAD 2019 and, and just really experience all this for yourself. We're going to go over some of the highlights, but I really recommend that you download it, that you can play with it and, and learn more for yourself. So, so going into the performance data, to me, a product is all about its stability. And we have done extensive testing. We've done over 140,000 drawings and very large drawings, complex drawings, opening, saving, changing file formats. And it's just ZWCAD 2019 is, we're at 99.84% stability i mean that's as good as you're going to get with with mouthwash or or hand sanitizer i mean we're at the the 99.9 percent .9 there and and so it's very exciting to see how much the r d team is focused on stability they they also do tests we found out that uh you can see this one is time in seconds it takes as we're doing high intensity continuous use and from 2000 18 version to the 2019 version and the thing that really stuck out to me with with a lot of these tests is you know if, if you're burning the midnight oil you know hopefully your brain's the one that's starting to go slower not the software and that's the big improvement here is that the software is going to stay consistent and it's stable and so i'm so glad for that improvement where it's just always focused on on the efficiency and instability Efficiency from 2018 to 2019, there's some improvements. You can see this is time in seconds to do different various uh, functions and options within the software. What really sticks out though, is when we switch it from here, 
comparing to our competitors in other CAD. And you're probably thinking, what's the big deal if you can unfreeze all your layers in eight seconds compared to 11 seconds? And the big difference to me is the focus our R&D team has on always improving efficiency. That is their whole focus is to make it the most efficient and effective CAD platform on the market. And just having that mindset to always improve is, is huge. And so waiting an extra four seconds might not be a big deal, but having that mindset is, is a huge um, company culture that we have. And I, I like that we're always seeing improvement in those things. And then getting into the, the fun stuff now of ZWCAD is just all the new features. One of the first ones we'll talk about is the create and modify dynamic blocks. What's very exciting about this is 2018 version, you, you could edit blocks, but you couldn't create them. So now we have the ability to create them. And this will just save so much, so much time. Anyone that's using dynamic blocks a lot already knows the the effectiveness of these. It's one of the, the coolest improvements to me in, in CAD in, in the last few years. And having that ability to create these is just a, is a game changer as a user. So, so that's a huge improvement. I love this feature a lot. It's very exciting. The annotative scale. This, I'll just tell you one quick story. My background was in construction management. I did. Uh, I was a superintendent for a home company building production custom homes. This is years ago, and um, and one of the things we we learned is we'd have a lot of details in our drawings for for different construction crews to follow, and we had to just add all these details in the back of the blueprints. And one example would be we we would add blocking for the framers to add and bathrooms for you know, toilet paper or hanging uh, your towel rods on. So we put back in behind the drywall with the wood so you'd have something to screw into. And if you asked a framing crew, hey, will you add blocking in for those things in the bathroom? It was shocking to see where they would put this, the blocking, where they thought toilet paper would go in a bathroom. It was just, it was pretty uh, embarrassing sometimes. And so we were having to add all these details in the, in the blueprints and having an annotative scale just means that you can set your scale for all the text, the dimensions, and it will all adjust so it's all consistent and the same and uniform in the plans. And that would have saved literally hours uh, per house for the drafters to add that in um, if it was on an annotative scale. So this would have been a huge time saver for people. And I, I really appreciate this, this function as a user and as a, a business manager. The PDF underlay, I don't know why we use PDFs so much, uh, but but it's just part of the workplace. PDFs are, are here to stay. I'm not a big fan of them, but everyone uses them. Every company uses them. And so having this PDF underlay is amazing. You can import PDFs, uh, you can export, you can bring them in and adjust them. It is, it's so nice because we were forced to work with PDFs and to have that format and ability to do so makes life so much easier uh, for PDFs. The layer palette, if you work in, in layers, this is, a, this is a game changer because you can instantly see how it's changing uh, your layers as you're making adjustments to it. And so this just, instead of having to go back and forth and, and find the differences, it's just right there, you can see it, you can make your changes to affect all your layers. It's, it's one of the biggest time savers if you're working in, in layers. Z-axis polar tracking. I'm a 2D man, my brain cannot grasp that social or that spatial awareness of 3D yet, but if you're using 3D, this is, so nice it automatically snaps to, to objects on your z-axis it just makes life easy and convenient and efficient and effective and so it's it's so nice to have this new feature in 2019. smart plot if you print a lot this 
is your new best friend. I imagine if, if you're someone that is printing every day, you're probably going to shout for joy for this one because if you have the same experience as I do, printers are my biggest nemesis. I have so many problems with printers. And so just one less thing to make the printing process easier for me, I mean, and just make that process smooth is so nice. And this will just, you can set your parameters, it will automatically do it. And so then I can fight my different battles of ink cartridges and drivers and everything else to do with the printer. So this just makes life easy to set that up and be able to start printing right away. One thing, this is, I don't know why this is such a controversial issue, but people, it's like the, the blue and gold or blue and black and white and gold dress, but some people just love dark UIs. Some people love the light UIs. Uh, I personally like the light UIs, but we have the option to go for either one. And so this makes it uh, very easy. I normally use a light background, so I prefer the light UI, but it's just, it's just nice to have that option that you can always go back and forth between what you're drawing or what your personal preferences are. We're an international company. We are in over 80 countries. We have over 900,000 users. And so we have these 15 languages are, are perfect. I mean, that's essential nowadays. Um, you can see some of these other new features. I, I think the biggest thing about all these other enhanced file tabs and, and the drag and drop layout, these are very minor things, but it's, we have a, a product team that's just about making it a more intuitive UI and, and being able to have a team that can focus on making the UI as simple and easy as possible. It's just so nice to always see those little improvements to, to make, you know, daily work more efficient. Here's some more, again, these are just slight UI improvements, but when you're playing with CAD every single day, you can feel these and these, helps so much uh, and just interacting with it. X, XREF, if you're if you're doing a bunch of these, the, the notifications and alerts are so nice when, when someone else has a, this is an external reference file. If someone changes that, you can be notified, you'll get the alerts for it. Uh, if something's missing, you can control all these as well, but that's so nice so everyone on the, on the team can stay together uh, that you can be, up to date with what's going on in the project as a whole. The API, a lot of a lot of people, if you're using a different CAD system right now and you have a third party develop, uh, third party application that you're using with your other CAD, our API is, is very easy to convert and migrate any apps uh, into ZW CAD. And so we we've keep on focusing on this API improvements and being able to migrate applications as easy as possible. If if you ever have an application that you want migrated over, tell the developer and it's easy process. We have it all super simple for them. Uh, you can always email me and I can reach out to the, the third party developer as well and have them and help them migrate over. My email address is Brad Gilger at ZWCAD. Reach out to me anytime for that. It's it just makes life so much easier for everyone when we have all those those API improvements. Our next move, what what are we doing with ZWCAD 2019? Here's kind of the timeline of it. We do it was ZWCAD 2019 was just released a few weeks ago. In the next few days, we're going to have the architectural and mechanical versions out, and then you know kind of late October is what we're looking at for for our special release one. We normally, we typically do two special releases a year. And so this is our SP1 and our SP2. And in those, you'll see minor improvements, some bug fixes, just your, your standard, um, you know, mid, mid release updates. And how that works with our pricing and licensing model. When you buy ZWCAD, there's no forced uh, subscriptions, the perpetual license, there's no forced updates. So you buy it, you own it for good. You can buy a, a one year license, like maintenance or a three year maintenance package. And that will cover all these SP1s, SP2s, you automatically get those. Or if you decide you can upgrade at any time, it's a really cheap, easy upgrade policy anytime you want, whether you wanna upgrade in five years, 
or two years from now, you'll just get the, the most latest one on that regard as well. So that's how our kind of SP1s and SP2s work. So I know that was a, a pretty quick overview of ZWCAD, but I know you guys are, are busy. My, my whole focus is a business uh, administrative side. I, I focus on, you know, really the strategy and the management practices for ZWCAD. And so if we had a developer here, I'm sure they'd go into a lot more details. But if you ever have any more questions about any of those things, again, go to Z or go to NoVeg, their website, download a trial. You can feel free to contact me for any more information about how any of those features work. I'll gladly provide that for you. And uh, or any other questions you have, please, please ask away. Yeah, thank you so much, Brad. That was so um, exciting to, to, to see the feature and to get your uh, perspective as a user and somebody that really dealt with problems uh, during construction and, and planning. So that's great. That's priceless, I think. So we're waiting a few more minutes for questions, if you have any. Uh, I'm going to um, share my screen just so I can show you where exactly you can um, find the product page. Here it is. I hope you can see it. You can see the product page of ZWCAD 2019 and uh, on the top of the image you see um, uh, that says trial. Click on it and download the trial. There's, you know, nothing better than get your hands on it to test it and see if you're going to like it. Um, we have very few people that tried it and didn't buy it afterwards. So um, I think uh, the success rate on people that try is really high. Just uh, test it for yourselves. And um, we're still here. There's no question, Brad. I think you were uh, extremely clear. And I hope everybody is so excited and they're going to go and download it right now. So I'm going to um, yeah, urge you to uh, also um, follow us on Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter to find every uh, announcement on specials, 3D software releases, the latest and the greatest um, in the CAD world. And I also want to let you know that next week we'll have a webinar on Twin Motion 2019. And I have recorded the entire session. So if you want to listen to Brad uh, explaining uh, the newest uh, ZWCAD 2019, you can always go on YouTube and Vimeo, search for Novedge, and you'll find today's recording. Um, we have no question yet, Brad. So I'm going to go ahead and thank you so much for today's presentation. Uh, oh, it was enlightening. And um, I will uh, wait for you to come and download the trial. How about that? Thank you so Perfect. much, Brad. Thank you. Have a fantastic day. You too. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.